What's up everyone, it's Kadi with MoneyVest. So in this video, we are going to be talking about Bitcoin and Ethereum. We're going to take a look at cryptocurrencies, which are absolutely going crazy right now with Bitcoin hitting highs of over $41,000, $42,000 and Ether also pushing higher very, very nicely. So we are seeing a very nice consistent move in both Ether and Bitcoin. Ethereum is a little bit over $2,200 as well. So Hope you all enjoy this video and find it helpful. Make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. And link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below if you're interested in joining. Of course, getting access to all the members-only videos, intrinsic value spreadsheets, trade alerts, trade ideas, find out exactly what I'm buying and selling, what options I'm trading. So first week of the month is the best time to join and the link's going to be down below. We'd love to have you on board. Also, do check out the Instagram. Handle is going to be CassWRP as well as the Fundamental and Technical Analysis courses and the Options and Psychology course also linked down below. You can access it for a lifetime, over 120 plus lectures, over 30 plus hours of content, spreadsheets, PDFs, cheat sheets, everything's going to be included with the link down below. So let's take a look. Bitcoin hits a 20 month high. The crypto rally rolls on. So we are seeing Bitcoin up a little bit over 6% uh, and hitting as high as 41,700. Uh, that's a 19 to 20 month high on ETF hopes and the Federal Reserve cuts. And there's a lot of money sitting on the sidelines. So it's almost $6 trillion cash pile in money market funds that need to be started getting redeployed soon, uh, of course, in the markets as well. So that's another topic of conversation, which we will talk about uh, towards the later part of the video. But this right here is where we are with Bitcoin, 41,800. It is up over 4.6%. Uh, and of course, we've got Ethereum also rallying hard at over 2253, uh, coming up to that resistance up over 2.7% as well. So, so lots of momentum coming in for these two cryptos. Of course, across the board, it is uh, everything is green. So even Dogecoin uh, is up to almost 9 cents. It's up over 2.74%. Um, and then maybe other ones like Ripple, for example, is also up to 61 cents. XRP, I believe that is Ripple, right? XRP. Um, it's a basically flat, so not really moving all that much. But Litecoin is also up 1.7% uh, to as much as $73. But really, the crypto rally is, is on the back of Bitcoin and Ether. And uh, the world's largest cryptocurrency surged more than 5% on Monday in Asia to a 19-month high and was starting at 41000 667. And uh, a lot of that is coming on the back of a very risk on environment, very risk on market sentiment on the back of Federal Reserve rate cuts because the market's pricing in four to five rate cuts. And of course, not to mention the potential for an ETF to get approved. Now, we know that the Grayscale contested the US SEC's decision to, uh, to not move forward with an ETF, uh, which was obviously contested and challenged and Grayscale basically won that decision in court that their application will be considered and move forward in the process of potentially converting the Grayscale trust over to an ETF because as we know, ETF will allow uh, these companies to actually buy actual Bitcoin and Ether into that ETF, which will thereby increase a lot of exposure for a lot of investors globally. Whereas in a trust, you are basically constructing that trust on the back of derivatives, which are futures and options. So these are a lot more risky. So it's kind of, you know, quite interesting that the SEC would not allow for an actual ETF, which, uh, you know, would be a lot less in terms of risk because it's actually holding on to physical actual assets as opposed to creating a trust, which has derivatives and futures and options uh, off the on, off on the back of Bitcoin as well. So that, of course, are the two reasons. And if you take a look now that 40,000 has been revisited for the first time in almost 19 months, 48,000 and 52,000 look to be the next significant lines in the sand. This right here was Anthony Trenchev, co-founder of digital asset company Nexo. And that's exactly the two levels that we are also watching, right? So if you come back over to Bitcoin, you'll notice that the next target and the next resistance really is going to be at 48,000. So this right here is the level to watch. And then beyond that, it's going to be pretty much the all-time high uh, at around 70,000 dollars as well. So again, you'll notice that that is pretty much the next resistance. However, if you do come over to the weekly chart, maybe there's some resistance at 52,000. So we have gone rejected there a couple times in the past. So this right here is the resistance. Uh, so maybe there is some area of resistance at that 48, $52,000 level. So that $4,000 uh, area of resistance. Uh, but of course, beyond that, it's going to be pretty much the all time high with a limited supply and the risk on environment and possibly some money is now starting to flow back into some of the more riskier assets, risk on environment, it's it's possible that Bitcoin and gold, they're both moving up, right? So gold is already at an all time high. I did a video about this earlier uh, today. And of course, Bitcoin also moving up very, very nicely at the moment, pushing up as much as it is. 
so the boosted confidence in the market that the Bitcoin ETF may eventually be approved, pushing up the price of the world's largest cryptocurrency. Uh, how swiftly Bitcoin marches towards 50,000 might well depend on when a spot Bitcoin ETF is approved. And even then, there's no guarantee the much anticipated nod from the SEC will put a rocket booster under the price. During a fireside chat on December 1st, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, of course, said that it's too early to be talking about rate cuts. Uh, and the central bank will be keeping policy restrictive until policymakers are sure that inflation is returning back to 2%. Like most forecasters, my colleagues and I anticipate that growth in spending and output will slow over the next few years. And uh, as the effects of the pandemic and the reopening fade and restrictive monetary policy weighs on aggregate demand as well. So we know that, you know, the Federal Reserve has been talking tough. Jerome Powell has been talking tough. And he's basically saying that, look, we're not even thinking about thinking about cutting rates. Um, before it was, we're not even thinking about thinking about raising, uh, raising rates. And now it's the other way around. But we know that if the economy starts to show signs of a potential crack or inflation starts to come back down or both, uh, then of course, rate cuts are a very, very high probability scenario going into 2024. Uh, but of course, as we know it right now, the Federal Reserve and Jerome Powell are talking tough. They're like, no rate cuts. But the market does not believe their bluff and they're already pricing in four to five rate cuts going into next year. Now, crypto execs also say the bull run is underway and could lead to over a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin in 2024. That, of course, is going to be about a hundred percent increase from where we are at the moment. Executives in the cryptocurrency industry called for the start of a new bull run with growing number of voices calling for fresh all time highs for Bitcoin in 2024 above a hundred thousand dollars excitement around the bitcoin etf being approved in the us next year as well as the bitcoin having uh halving process is fueling a rally in cryptocurrencies and many commentators also see the conclusion of the ftx case and the binance settlement with the us department of justice as a resolution of two outstanding issues that were plaguing the market as well this right here is a little bit of that seasonality chart and what you'll notice is that november actually tends to be a very strong month for bitcoin and it was so if you come back over to the monthly chart uh, in the month of november bitcoin prices were up a little bit over eight percent and in october prices were up 28 percent and so far in december bitcoin is up 11 percent already and it's not even midway through this month and going into january and february these right here are the two months that are extremely strong especially february if you take a look we're going back as far as 2011 uh, and you'll notice that only three years february was actually a negative month right january only five years january was negative uh, as opposed to four five six seven eight eight years January was positive and over here even more than that right so we're going back as far as one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten years out of the last 13 uh we've seen february to be a very strong month for bitcoin so 2024 january february could could potentially be another very strong um strong month considering all the averages and this right here is the average and you'll notice that 9.7 percent gain in january 16 and a half percent gain in february uh and this right here is december uh 10.5 percent and november 43 percent so we are definitely in this sort of seasonality phase where crypto tends to do a lot better uh, as opposed to some of the summer months in june july august and september as well so again, next level to really watch is going to be in this range, 48,000 to 52,000. So this right here is going to be that level to watch for, for Bitcoin. That's going to be the next target. However, we also have to be considerate of the overbought levels that we are approaching now with the RSI over 81. So very, very overbought at the moment, but that is going to be that next target. And of course, Ether, we're already coming up to that resistance and we're starting to see a bit of a breakout in the next level and the next target is going to be at 3,500. So 35, 3,500 is going to be that next resistance level to watch for Ethereum and not to mention a lot of these individual stocks like Marathon is up over 15%. CleanSpark is up over 17%. Riot is up over 12%. Uh, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust is up another 6.8, almost 7%. So of course, a lot of momentum, not to mention Coinbase as having a day over 9.5% as well. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below for cryptos. Um, the only crypto exposure I have is through Marathon, which is up a whopping 200%, 282%. After today, most likely up 300% year to date. So just an insane move to the upside on a year to date basis from, from Marathon. Uh, and of course, uh, some of the levels that I'm watching for Marathon are going to be 19 to as much as 22 to as much as $32 per share for uh, marathon moving forward. So hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below for Bitcoin and uh, make sure that you drop a like, subscribe to the channel, link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below if you're interested in joining. And as always, happy investing. I'll see you all in the next video.